So for my two target sheets, on my first sheet I was 368 for string 1, 162 for string 2, and 435 for string 3. I had one two-second penalty and 24 zero hits. On my string 2, I was 462, 271, and 485 with 25 zero hits. So even with the one penalty, I was still faster on this one, so my string 1 of 1165 is what would go in. Time is 926. 926. Four nine nine. Reload. Okay, unload and show clear. Time was 729. So we had that one that one aiming shot that we gave you on the first target. So you really only have five instead of six on there. Yeah. So you have one two rounds that are this one. Yep. So this round right here and this round right here are going to be add four seconds total to your time. So on Matt's first string he had 926 on his second string he had 499 and on his third string he had 729 and he had 23 zeros and two two second penalties on his second target sheet he was 710 for the first string he was 327 for his second string and he was 655 for his third string. He had 1, 2, 1, 4, and 23 zeros. So when he's all done, he would initial here and the RO would initial here and then the RO would date it. This data would then be entered into the scoring system. So that's the score that's going to be entered for him or determine his placement in the local qualifier. Okay, I want to show you a few things about scoring targets. So here's a 22 caliber bullet. That's clearly a hole. You can see a grease ring around it, obviously a, a minus zero. Here's one that's right on the edge of the zero and the two there but there's a tear that goes in so in order to score that correctly if, if the RO doesn't have a 22 caliber overlay they can take a, a bullet and lay it sideways and see if the width of the bullet actually crosses into the zero so in this case you can see that when I put the bullet across where the center of the hole is that it clearly is just touching the white. So that hole right there would score in the zero and not in the minus two. This one's a little bit more difficult. It's clearly outside. If you put a hole on, you can see a little bit of a grease ring here and there. So this hole's a little different. I'm not crossing the line that goes into the zero, but here's a grease line here and here's a grease line over here so if I line this up and do this one here that circle right there I can still see the edge of an arc over here so that is actually two hits two rounds hit exactly in the same spot or very close to the same spot this target to me actually looks like it has six holes I can look at that as a hole this is a hole this is a hole two here and one here if two bullets go exactly the same hole, 
There's no way to verify that. So when you look at this one here, when I take the, the bullet and line it up, when the edge of the grease ring, I hope you can see that, but when the edge of the grease ring is just touching the arc, on the outside I can see white in between the red and the bullet so this one here is going to be scored a minus four it wasn't in the minus two but it's still on the target so that's a minus four because it does not cross into the minus two zone